Hello, my name is Jeff Feige. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to configure a printer for use with a ZenApp session. Um, the support profile files will be available at the link on your screen. It's bit.ly, uh, capital X, lowercase z, lowercase g, capital R, capital V, lowercase o. Um, first thing we're going to do is uh, bring up the iGel uh, Universal Management Suite and I already have a couple profiles configured um, but we'll go through them. This profile is whatever profile you're using to connect to your ZenApp environment so I'm not going to go through that one and here is my printer configuration so um, in general um, I will set up a um, a quick example I have one in here and this is the one we're really going to dig into but I'm going to set up another one just to give you an example if you had something quick and dirty uh, say an HP 2000C say it was connected via um, parallel port um, this these two settings here reg are regarding transforms that occur on the thin client side in general in a terminal services environment you will most likely set these to generic and raw um, we go over to mapping and sessions we have IC and RDP selected and we can select one of the generic uh, printer drivers that uh, have been around for a really long time we have quite a few in our list um, keeping in mind that this printer driver must be installed on your ZenApp side. Um, this is not a magic universal driver. It, well, even the tooltip will tell you that. Make sure the driver is installed on your Windows machine. Um, we can create that and we have a new printer. But I'm going to show you a different use case. Um, if your printer is not in that list, um, we're going to do something along these lines. So uh, the printer I have is a Ricoh CL2000N there is no driver for that uh, in our list so what I've done here is mine is, happens to be a TCP network printer so I've set the IP address and the port um, it really makes no difference whether it's uh, you know a any of these other printer types uh, I set my profile to generic generic raw queue and in mapping and sessions I'm going to use a custom Windows driver name now I don't know exactly what that name is yet so I'm just gonna click OK and save this profile and we'll pull up uh, our Zen app server and install the printer driver. So here is our uh, Zen app server. <clears throat> um, I have the printer driver already downloaded, so we'll go ahead and uh, and install the printer driver. Um, we'll add a local printer. The port doesn't. We'll set it to a null port. Uh, I have the 2000, so and this is the PostScript driver. So printer name, that's fine. We'll go with the generic printer name. Let the driver install. Uh, <clears throat> and we don't need to share it. And uh, it's fine. We don't have to set it as the default printer. Um, but now what we can do is go into Devices and Printers and select our Rico printer, Get Properties, and uh, Printer properties. Go to the advanced tab. Bear with me one second here. Sorry about that. So go to the advanced properties and this driver in this list here, this is what we need to plug into our profile. And this driver name, it is case sensitive and space sensitive. So it has to be exactly as it is stated here. So it's Rico space capital officio space capital C L 2000 space capital P capital S so we'll go back out here to our uh, we'll go ahead and log off because we should not need this anymore and um, we'll go back out here to our printer profile go to devices printer cups printers and go in and make this change. So we're going to use the uh, because if you see here in this list under Rico, our printer is not in there. So um, it is Rico Officio CL 2000 PS. I'll click OK and save that profile. And I will take um, these two profiles and apply them to our test uh, VM here. Um, I just have a couple profiles applied that make the 
presentation a little bit easier. So we'll apply these two profiles to our thin client. And we'll push the settings out. Actually, it looks as if the thin client's not up and running. So let's uh, let's fix that real fast. So as soon as it comes back up, just be a second here. We'll refresh, and we will do settings UMS to thin client and now we can see if we shadow the device we will have an icon on the desktop for Zenapp we'll make a connection to our Zenapp server and load our Zenapp desktop There's our Zenapp desktop, and let's see if it auto created our um, printer. And there it is from session one. I'll go ahead and get printer properties and send a test page. And we'll see my printer light is flashing, and um, the page is coming out now. I will go check and see if it printed correctly. So I've walked over to the printer and grabbed the test page and took a wonderful picture with my cell phone. And as you can see there, um, it appears that uh, everything printed as expected. So as you can see, it's pretty straightforward. Um, again, um, the files that, uh, that I used in this will be available at the link on your screen. And I hope this clears up a little bit about how to pass printers through and have them use the correct driver in ZenApp. And this also works the same way for, Zen, for uh, um, terminal services or RDSH. So um, again, my name is Jeff Feige. Have a good day, and I hope this was helpful.